Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel and today we have another Aritzia haul. So I have a ton of items to show you guys today and these are all items that I've collected over the past month since my previous Aritzia haul. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I got this time. Um, some of these items you've probably seen before because I filmed my shopping vlogs. I went into stores twice. If you're interested, I will link them down below. I also ordered a couple of items online. So those will be included here as well. And for those of you who are new here, I do shopping hauls and fashion and styling videos and a lot of Aritzia content. I know since you're here, you probably love watching these hauls and I love filming them. And since we got this mutually beneficial relationship here, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell because I post Aritzia content every single week. And if you're also interested, I have an Instagram account now where I post a lot of my Aritzia outfits. If you follow me there, you can get Aritzia outfit inspo. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Tatiana skirt by Sunday Best. I don't usually shop at Sunday Best, but this skirt was so cute. So initially, I was kind of eyeing the Wilfred only um, slip skirt, but I'm only 5'3", so I'm kind of short. And the only slip skirt and the slip dress actually falls really low on me. It's supposed to be a meaty skirt and on the model it looks perfect, but like the model is like a foot taller than me. So on me, the meaty style skirt kind of makes me look shorter. So I decided to opt for this mini skirt instead. It's really cute and it has a slit at the side. So I'll show you guys how I would style this piece as well. So right now I'm styling the skirt with the Babaton cowl neck camisole and if you watch any of my past videos you'll know that I love mixing whites together especially when they are different textures and fabrics. Great neutral pieces to keep in your closet. And then when it gets chilly outside you can just throw over a jumper and you'll be ready for the transition season. I can just imagine myself wearing this in the fall with a pair of black booties. I know white isn't really a fall color, but I love white, so why not wear it year-round? Can't go wrong with full neutrals. The next item is the TNA Ex-Boyfriend Sweatpants. And I love TNA sweatpants. I don't usually buy anything from TNA except for their hoodies and their sweatpants. I've been really into the full sweatsuit lately. And this one is in their Cozy AF fleece. They started to change the names of their lines. This used to be called the Classic Fleece. I also have the TNA Boyfriend sweatpants and the TNA Boyfriend joggers. So if you want to see what those ones look like in comparison, then you can check out my Aritzia haul, which I will insert a card above here if you want to check that one out because I have those two as well. This one is just wider leg. This one is really wide leg and it's also a little bit longer. So if you're taller than me, I'm 5'3", then probably the boyfriend sweatpants or boyfriend joggers might not be for you because even on me, they hit me right like above my ankle or at my ankle, but a little bit above my ankle. So if you're anywhere taller than me, it'll probably be like a little bit too short. But however, these ones are perfect for anyone any height because it's meant to be like really long and slouchy and i actually have the cuffs rolled up here so if you're taller this would definitely work out for you better another difference is that this drawstring cord is a circle instead of like the two um like the instead of like these things uh, down here super cozy work from home attire so right now i have the cuffs rolled on this pair of sweatpants and you can see that it still pretty long on me it's right at my ankle so if you are tall then this will definitely work for you and just as comparison this is the boyfriend sweatpants in the lightweight fleece which is now called the airy af fleece and here are the boyfriend joggers in the midweight fleece you can see that these ones hit me right above the ankle and they're not even cuffed. Next thing I was going to show you guys, I'm so excited about. If you watched my previous Aritzia vlog, then you know that I bought the 
Babaton Pristina tweed skirt and the skirt is really cute because it reminds me of Chanel and I really like how it's like a mini, it's kind of like a mini skirt but on me it hits me right mid thigh so it's not that short on me and I really like the side slit, side slit. And when I tried this on in store, I had to try it in a size 6 because this does fit really, really small. So if you're interested in this one, definitely size up. I'm usually about a size 2 or 4 for reference. So I also really wanted the matching top that goes with this. But unfortunately, they didn't have it in store. And it was also sold out in my size online. However, let me tell you guys something. If something is sold out online and it's not available in your store, then you can ask the SA if they can check if there's any other stores available in um, your country. So in Canada for me, they had the matching top available at the Eaton Center in Toronto. So they actually ended up shipping that one out from the Toronto store location to me here in Ottawa. I'm temporarily here in Ottawa, by the way. Usually I live in Toronto. So I'm really excited I got this and the shipping came super fast. I think it was like two days, but it wasn't that far. Like Toronto's not that far from Ottawa. Initially, I had ordered the size six because my skirt was in a size six. However, I can tell you that the size six was way, way, way too big for me. So I had to go and exchange it and reorder this in the size four, which still fits with a little bit of a room. However, this fabric has absolutely no stretch in it. So the size four is perfect for me. Got to mention that this top actually comes with this little snap closure that you can put your bra strap into so that it sits aligned with the bra strap. This is why I love Aritzia because not only are their clothes super cute but it's really functional and they always think of like these little things that just makes the quality so much better and so much more wearable. And here are the two pieces together. I really like how the top isn't too cropped because I'm too old for that now. <laughs> yeah, they just fit together perfectly for my height. The great thing about two pieces is that you can wear each of the pieces separately. So here I'm pairing the top with a pair of high-waisted Levi jeans. And here I'm pairing the skirt with the Balaton Cal neck camisole. And once again, I love mixing whites and creams. The skirt actually hits me mid-thigh, and if it weren't for the slit there, I'd probably wear this to work. What do you think, guys? Can I wear this to work? Okay, I'm so excited about this item. This is the Wilfred Tempest blouse, and this is such a cute blouse. Like, I saw the blouse called Lineth blouse, which is kind of the long sleeve version of this, and I initially wanted that one because, like, I prefer a long sleeve over short sleeve in general. However, this is 50% off, which was a really great deal, so I ended up picking the short sleeve version, and it still looks really nice. Like, it looks very elegant to me. So this is something I would definitely wear casually or to work. And if you watch my videos, you know that I kind of compare everything to whether or not I can wear it to work because if I can't wear it to work, then I don't get that much of an opportunity to wear it anyway. So I like that it's versatile in that way. And I got this in the size extra small. I read some reviews online that this actually fits small. However, I feel like it didn't really fit small on me for some reason. Like I'm usually an extra small, this is an extra small. It is a stretchy fabric, so I didn't really feel like it, it wasn't fitting well. The only thing I can say is that I do have like relatively broad shoulders for my frame. So you'll see in the try on that like my shoulders kind of stick out a little bit, but I don't want my shoulders to look that broad. So I think the size is fine on me. So I'm pairing the Tempest blouse with a classic pair of black trousers by Wilfred. Can't remember the name of these trousers. And this is the look I would wear to work. So here is the blouse paired with a skirt. This kind of looks like the twirl skirt, but I actually got this from Uniqlo. I tried to go for the look that was on the model at the website. Okay, the next item that I got. You guys have probably seen this because I've been wearing it lately so much. I bought this a few weeks ago during my Aritzia shopping vlog. You've definitely seen this. This is the Wilfred Ecoulement. Oh, sorry. It's the Babaton, no, it's the Wilfred. 
It's the Wilfred A. Kudman jumpsuit. It's the perfect summer outfit. Like it looks super elegant, but at the same time, you can wear it casually. Like sometimes, you know, when you feel like wearing a dress or looking nice, but then the dress is too fancy, you don't want to look at that extra. I like how this one is really simple. It looks elegant, but at the same time, you can dress it casually as well. And if you watched my one of my previous Aritzia hauls, I had gotten the A Kudmon V version of this jumpsuit before. So that's um, very similar to this, except with a V neck instead of the square neckline. And the tie is at the front instead of the back. So I'll leave a card up here as well. But initially I got that one and I had exchanged it for this one instead because that one I felt like it didn't really fit really well. Like the straps were a little bit too long for me. So I ended up exchanging it for this version. And this is the original Ekurman jumpsuit, not the new Ekurman jumpsuit. The difference between the new one and the old one is that the old one has a higher square neckline and the newer one has more of like a neckline that goes straight across your chest like this with straps that there's also a couple other differences between the V version and the square neckline and I compared them in my original video so you can check that one out but most of the feedback I got from that video were that you think the tie looks better when I tie the back than at the front anyway so I'm not really disappointed that I lost the functionality of not being able to tie the tie at the front with this one just in case you haven't seen this enough, here's me in the jumpsuit once again. I do think this pair actually fits better than the V version. I like that the straps are tighter on me, and I prefer how the bow looks tied at the back. These are the Wilfred high tie pants. This is very, very, very similar to the tie front pants, which is my absolute favorite favorite piece from Aritzia, as you may know because I have a whole video about it. This is very similar to that except it has a longer leg. This has a full length leg whereas the tie front pants are a crop length. The tie front pants are actually perfect on me because I'm only 5'3 as I mentioned. However, this one is really really long so I'm gonna have to get it hemmed. Yeah, I don't mind having it because this was only $60, which is such a great, great deal for Aritzia pants. Pairing this with the Tempest blouse because I was too lazy to change out of it into something else, but I think this looks works too. This is a look that I would wear to work, and I also think it looks pretty cute like as a casual outfit too. So the next item is an item that my sister got and it's the Babaton Power Blazer but the short version. It's called Babaton Short Power Blazer, something like that in the check pattern. It's not exactly my style because I don't tend to gravitate towards like small patterns. I like clean solid colors but my sister ended up getting this and I just still think it's really cute. Definitely if you are like younger and still in college and this is a great pick. Another thing is I like how Babaton often has like short version and long version of things. So if you are short like me, I know I keep mentioning that, but very important here when you're picking out clothes that, that they have like a shorter version so it doesn't look like it's like a dress on you. Here's a blazer paired with a black top and jeans, probably for a casual Friday. I'm guessing this is how my sister was styled as a college student. And here's a more professional look. I'm styling it with a pair of black trousers and these are the Wilfred Allen pants along with my Babaton camisole. Another item. I've been seeing so, so many people on YouTube who have been making hauls and they've been getting this pair of pants. So I just had to, like this was kind of an impulse buy, but I thought it was really cute. This is the Wilfred Modern Carvel Pants and the GD Marble Gray color. It's a very casual piece. 
In hindsight, um, I kind of regret buying it at this time because the, right now it's the clientele sale is over so I paid full price for this and like I said before, I compare everything to whether or not I can wear it to work because that's um, if I can wear it to work, that means I will get more use out of it and this one is kind of like a casual pair of pants so I don't know how much wear I would actually get out of this right now so in hindsight, I kind of wish I waited on buying this pair and wait till the next clientele sale to buy it because right now it's like August and next clientele sale should be around end of October or November so a few more months probably might not even be able to wear this in the next few months because it's so hot right now in Canada this feels like a really really heavy fabric so and this is what it looks like on me. The waist is actually a lot higher than I had expected. You can see that my upper body actually looks really short. And this is a close up. Really like the detailing of these pants. Okay, next thing is very simple tank. It's a cropped white tank from TNA. Um, I forgot the name of this, but I will leave it in the description box. It has this waffle knit fabric. It's just a plain, simple white crop tank. It's really cute for the summer. Here's an effortless look paired with the boyfriend sweatpants. I can totally see myself lounging in this every day while I'm working from home. And here's a close-up. You can definitely see the waffle detailing a little better here. It's a little bit see-through, but not that bad if you're wearing like a white or a nude bra underneath. So here it is paired with the modern cargos. Do you guys ever wear crop tops where you tuck in the bottom into your bra? I've seen some celebrities like Kylie Jenner do this, but I've never been daring enough to actually do this, but I think this is a look. What do you guys think? Okay, lastly, I have the Wilfred Verona top. And this is another piece that I picked up from my first shopping vlog. This one, I didn't really have like high hopes for it because it was just like a plain black thing. But when I tried it on, oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. I picked it up and I was just imagining myself wearing this with black leather leggings. I think it would pair really, really well. Okay, this outfit is exactly what I had imagined when I tried this on in store. I really wanted to pair it with a pair of black leather leggings, and this is the Wilfred Free Gemma Pant. I almost never wear all black outfits because I just think it looks really plain and boring. However, this is definitely something I would wear because the leggings are a completely different texture and you can definitely see that there's a difference between these two blacks. And here I'm pairing it with a blazer. Another way I would wear this is with a pair of skinny jeans. And these are the same pair of Levi jeans as earlier. I really like this look because the side slits are really prominent and you can see them well because of the contrast between the color of the jeans. You can also tuck in the front of the top to give you a different look. And here's a close-up to show you guys the texture of this top. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Aritzia hauls and Aritzia styling content, you can subscribe to my channel because I post them every single week. And follow me on Instagram. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Maybe it's hopeless I've written you about a thousand letters Maybe I'm hoping The rose I gave you will last forever